Hello, this is Tom Searcy with 1% Difference, and this week I want to talk about how do you get the senior decision makers and develop trust with them? How do you get closer to your target senior executives? Now listen, there isn't anybody who's listening to this right now who doesn't know that trust is a key element of a relationship. That relationships are how you get the access to information and people that, and the sponsorship that you need to make big sales happen, and that trust takes some time. So let's start off with the idea that you're going to invest in big senior executives to develop the kinds of relationships that will accomplish that. Well, i got to tell you, direct approaches sometimes don't work. Just by calling them on the phone and introducing your company and trying to develop that kind of a relationship, that's going to be just like everyone else is doing. So are there some other approaches that you can have that can maybe come in from a different angle to secure their attention and get a relationship developed? I'm going to give you a few of those today. Approach number one, reach out to a senior executive that you want to meet with or talk to and ask them to go ahead and talk to you because you're writing a blog or a white paper or a report and you would like to use a quote from an industry thought leader around uh, a particular topic or idea and you just want to go ahead and have 10 minutes of their time. By doing this, you're going to get one-on-one -on -one time with them and at that point, do not ask for an appointment, do not ask for a sale, do not ask for an opportunity. Just ask for the information that you're talking about and establish the relationship. Strategy number two, ask them for the full interview. Tell them that you are right now uh, developing through three thought leaders inside of your industry a white paper about the future of that industry or marketplace and you'd like to interview them either face to face or by phone and to include that information that you'll be happy to give that white paper back to, to uh, him or her so that they can use it for their own business and their own business purposes but that you'll be reaching out and would he or she give you at least a half an hour to 45 minutes of your time. What does this create? All sorts of interaction. You get the first interview, then you get to follow up with the interview based upon what you send out to them to go ahead and get additional quotes or comments, and then you get to follow up by sending out the final document. You've had three interactions that are based upon their expertise, and during your question asking and your writing period of time, you're creating your sense of expertise and value. Third, Inside of your own trade association, consider asking this person to do a keynote for you. By reaching out to them and saying, we're considering uh, asking you to do a keynote, I'd like to go ahead and talk to you on the phone for a couple minutes, find out what you might uh, be able to contribute, and if you had any kind of a fee structure, you're going to get access to that senior decision maker, and during that period of time, you can talk about the future of the industry, the problems that they're having, the issues they might be able to do, and interject what your company does as a part of how you might be able to help them solve that. It creates some initial traction and an initial relationship. The next strategy, fourth one, is, is to ask them to participate in a 10-person senior executive survey. By reaching out to them and saying, I'd like to go ahead and have you participate in an in-depth interview survey. Uh, we'll blind copy that, but we're taking 10 thought leaders in the marketplace and we're using them to go ahead and to template what the next 18 to 36 months in the industry looks like. What you're doing is complimenting them and you're letting them know that you look at them as thought leaders and that they could participate. Again, you're not claiming an opportunity to sell. This is about developing a relationship. The next step that you could do is to ask them to comment on a recent relevant event. It could be a regulation in your industry, it could be a technology that's recently been uh, developed, it could be a number of different things. But by reaching out to them and saying, right now I'd like to go ahead and get your feedback about what's going on in the industry, we're using this as background information for our strategic planning and business development. I was asked by our company to reach out to you and get your impressions of what's going on does the same things we talked about earlier, but it doesn't put as much writing requirement on you. And if you don't think of yourself as a great creative writer, at least by doing this, you can capture a lot of information, establish a relationship with them. And finally, it's always appropriate to nominate them or their company for an award. Inside of the trade associations, inside of the marketplace that's out there, you can always nominate someone else for an award. And by doing that, you can reach out to them and say, look, you've been nominated by our company for an award. I'd like to go ahead and do some background data check and gather a little bit of additional information about you to include in this nomination. They're going to feel flattered, they're going to feel complimented, and you're going to have an opportunity to speak with them. At that senior level, we're starting off tangentially. We're off to the side, not coming at them directly trying to pitch them, but really just trying to develop some level of communication and relationship from which we can then start to ask the business questions that establish whether there's a good reason for us to be doing business. Until next time that we have a chance to talk, go out and make the 1% difference. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button down below and the bell, and that way we'll let you know every time there are new videos that are out there. And you can also visit our website below.